If you are wondering why I am dressed like a present right now, it's because I am wanted to wear some of the best armor in game. That's right, if you want to dress to impress and wear armor, this might be the coolest set and the set for you. So there have been some cool, cool updates. Not a major one, but a huge one for me as an ex-teacher and also as a parent. Super, super love what this is and what we're going to get into today. I've been waiting for this because it cuts down on uh, time outside of math questions. It's awesome. Uh, really, really excited. So let's get into it right now. So if we come on over here, to our oh let's sorry didn't do shout outs yet so hello matt the cool uh hello daniel wild mask and that was uh uh catherine i believe so let's go ahead and uh come on over here caitlin hello caitlin Le caitlin legend mask as well so now the items here in our backpack are listed by uh, what is best by the highest armor rating. So my Mira's Hood is Heart Bonus 352. The second item that I have is Heart Bonus 329, which is the Ice Cream Hat. Now, this actually looks pretty good like that. All right, Deluxe Holiday Bow is 323, and it goes down from there. So you can see dressing up as a box, as a present, is stronger than the Puppet Master's hat. So um, uh, this is what it's going to be look as it goes down. You can see all of the different levels um, down all the way to here. Arcturus' Hood is Heart Bonus 116. This is all updated, so there's no confusion as to the old system or the new system, which is awesome. The sunglasses are pretty solid. Solid. They were made very, very well. So if you do want to equip those, you can. Here for outfits, the Titan Power Armor. Now the tight Titan Power Armor is going to be the best for all of these categories. It's the best in the game, which personally I like that. I like that the Puppet Master's robes are not the highest tier because I think that the, the places... Uh, the places Prodigy at are going to take us, it's going to be very different. It's going to be very strange, and Puppet Master as the end-all be-all probably won't be there. So Puppet Master's robes are 320. Deluxe gift, Guilt Gift is 323, three points stronger than um, uh, Puppet Master's robes. Mira's robes are going to be 352. And so those are quite good, but the Titan Power Armor is 355. So that is a little bit stronger. You can now have the descriptions as well, which is awesome. I love the fact that this is ranked. One of the reasons I love this is because we have the ability to just put on whatever armor is best. It cuts down on the shuffling. Now for wands, it's going to be by power as well. So Mira's staff is the strongest that I have. Of course, the Titan Power Katana is going to be stronger than Mira's staff. And then Puppet Master's staff. Chocolate bar is just below the Puppet Master's staff. Um, which, yeah, that says something about the Puppet Master, I feel. Here are the relics. The relics are going to be by uh, power level. So all of these ancient relics will be first. And then after that, it's going to be powerful fire relic, strong fire relic, uh, basic fire relic. It used to be basic, strong, powerful. And so they've changed that around, which I think is really cool. Um, it's also by the newest thing that you get, I believe. So the newest relic that you get might be the first one. Boots are also listed by speed. So Puppet Master's boots are the fastest boots that I have. The, um, uh, is it the Taskmaster boot? The Trial Master boots are uh, faster. The speed bonus is 320 for Puppet Master's boots. And so here for the buddies, it's the newest to the oldest. So you no longer have to scroll all the way down to see what you have, which is cool. The newer stuff, chances are you're more excited about. My brown hamster is all the way down here. For items, it's also the newest to the oldest. So if you want to go to your tin can, it's going to be all the way down here. But chances are you won't be wandering down that far. Currency listed newest to oldest as well. Um, which as far as the uh, this stuff here from the Tower Town, unless they have a Tower Town update or it changes and fits in with something going on within the game, um, I probably won't be building up too much currency 
for this, but really, really like the way that they changed this. The reason as a teacher and a parent I like this is because um, the time spent shuffling between outfits here and then wands and then other things to kind of test and see what you want and how you feel about it really takes out of the math time. And I'm all about the, um, when I think about educational games, I'm all about the math to question ratio. So definitely want to go ahead and hammer that in. Now there's one other huge update as well. Let's go ahead and keep on dancing here for Chet Chef Hunter is now here and Daniel Wildmask as well. Um, let's go ahead and take a quick look at our shops. The shops have been updated. Let's go ahead and just go all the way around. You can see them in the shop area, but the full bodies are amazing. Here we have the merchant, and the merchant is so cool. Look at this. So here we have this this uh, merchant. Got some morph marbles right here. He has mushrooms growing out of his hat and his backpack, and then also a leaf on top of his hat. He's waving, hello, how are you? Come buy my stuff. And then all of these merchants look super adorable. You need to let me know which is your favorite. Here we have the merchant here, which has his gloves on, a big snowflake at the back of his hat. He's got snow on his pack, and he has cleated boots, so he has crampons. He's ready to go ahead and scale a glacier. Love all of these small little details. It's super, super adorable. I personally love these new um, uh, these new guys, these no, new gnomes. Let me know how you feel. They look like you could just go ahead and set them in your garden like a little gnome statue really really love these these are insanely fantastic here we come over to skywatch let's go ahead and play and check out skywatch as well now you can see that he has the uh, fan blade on the back of his hat and wrapped around it here looks like some weather type devices let me know what you think is back here um i can't quite tell exactly what this is that's holding the strap on but he is all duked out i love his gloves too um very sort of like benny type gloves for you know working on the, all of the small little parts of the machines uh very very cool design and then coming on over to Bonfire Spire, let's take a quick peek over here. And so here we have the nice thick gloves for touching hot, hot things and the fire on the back of our hat here. Um, it looks like that's just a strap, so uh, not all of the, them have different things on him. His hat is a little bit burned up though, a little bit burned up right here. So looking really cool. Robo Eli is here as well, enjoying these super, super cool uh, guys. Let me know what you think about this update it seems absolutely huge to me i love it love the fact that um students are going to spend less time shuffling gear in class and at home congratulations stevens of the sea um and so of course if we come on over here to shipwreck shore there is no gnome because we have the merchant is still here which is interesting this merchant comes only during um uh, summer fest and so this is a merchant that has the, uh, is that the Draconix uh, wand up there and then the leaf. So this guy is kind of the one with the mushrooms and stuff like that. So this is the guy from um, uh, Firefly Forest. And so he says, welcome to Ocean Outfitters. Want to see what I have for sale? And he's been updated right here with the mushrooms, the hat, and the star wand in back. These are the potions right there. So if they bring, po if the potions are hanging around, then, you know, um, here we have this, and so we have the potions right here, little hat on his door, a uh, little door on his hat, and a lot of really cool, awesome details there for this guy as well. I need to get myself some yards. Um, so that is that is the last one, and we'll swing back on over here to finish up with some of the Lamplight Town Summerfest music. Remember to get your battles in. I still have not battled uh, my um, uh, Apple Pot yet, so I do have to get that battle in. But when you come on over here, the uh, way that they hang out, their little hands right there, he's like, hi, how are you? It's so adorable. Really, really like these guys. Um, snow day sales. He's like, hi, oh, I've got my gloves on. On, let's play I'm gonna throw a snowball in your face and then here we have the hot hot threads guy who's like hello everything is so hot come on over here I have gloves on and then ocean outfitters hi how are you doing I'm a Merling hello my name's Athena what's up 
And then Sky High Values is like, don't get electrocuted when you play with the machines. Hello, how are you? I have a spinny thing on my hat. So uh, on like all the little rivets and stuff like that. That's cool. So he's got a metal hat on. So uh, yeah, let me know what you think about all of these. I love this update. It is crazy, crazy fun. Um, super, super awesome. And uh, hope you guys enjoy it. I'm super excited that they were able to get the bag update ready before, like, pretty much when school started so that there's not too much time just wasted with people digging through different, um, you know, gear and all of that. Because having that is... It's, it's just fantastic. Just fantastic. So I will see you next time. Let me know. Remember, we are going to be having our uh, battle party live this Saturday. Don't know the time yet. I have to figure it out with all of my other lives. And uh, there will be a list for registration for this one um, for battle order. All right. So be sure to like. Be sure to subscribe. I will see you guys next time. Keep on prodiging on. Take care. What an awesome update. Bye-bye.